Hello, First Baptist. I'm Kenny. And I'm Miranda. And we're going to be presenting uh, day two or lesson two of Stepping Forward. And the, for this lesson covers Ephesians 1, 7 through 12. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished on us. In all wisdom and insight, he made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his kind intentions, which he proposed in him, with a view to an administration suitable to the fullness of the times. That is the summing up of all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on the earth. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to his purpose, who works all things after the counsel of his will, to the end that we who were the first to hope in Christ would be to the praises of his glory. This passage describes three blessings that we receive from God. Redemption, forgiveness of our sins, and an inheritance. Redemption is, designed at, is defined as the action of regaining or gaining a possession of something in exchange for payment or clearing a debt. When Jesus was sacrificed, he cleared our debt of sin, allowing us to gain possession of both forgiveness of our sins and a heavenly inheritance upon our death. This paves the way for the next two blessings. We are all born sinners and destined to spend eternity separated from God upon our death. However, God sent his son to take the consequences of our sin upon himself so that we would be redeemed. Jesus has interceded for us so that God would accept us into heaven even though our human nature makes it impossible for us to live a life free of sin. It is only because the grace of God that our sins are forgiven and we can go to heaven when we die. Joining God in heaven is the third blessing we learn about in this passage. We all receive different blessings from God while we're here on earth. And upon our arrival in heaven, we all receive the biggest blessing we can, we can imagine. We inherit all the riches of God. All three of these blessings are available to us because of the grace of God. Old Testament Christians were required to perform tasks like animal sacrifice or cleansing themselves in rivers to be redeemed and forgiven of their sins. Starting in the New Testament and continuing until now, however, we can receive these blessings because Jesus became the sacrificial lamb and his blood cleansed us of our sins. The challenge for us this week is knowing how blessed we are, even during difficult times like we've been experiencing recently. I challenge you to give thanks to God for everything he has given you. I'd be willing to bet that every one of you can make a list of at least 10 blessings you have received from God. Try reading that list out loud while you pray, and do this before you make requests of God. Come to Him with thanksgiving first, and then for help. Have a good day. Bye.